Hello, hello, and welcome to the Introverted Manager. Today we'll be talking about dynamic formatting, as well as how to keep it consistent and unified across multiple fields and measures. Let's dive right in. Last year, Power BI team introduced dynamic formatting. This is a really good option if you need to format your numbers in specific way. Well, not just numbers, but we will be talking about numbers today in specific. For example, accounting has certain formatting for numbers. Regular users might want to see numbers in different fashion, etc. In those cases, previously, you either had to use calculating groups, which weren't as straightforward and for the longest time weren't available within Power BI desktop itself, or revert to workarounds with concatenating into string, but then you lose summarization in those cases. Weren't ideal, far from ideal. But with dynamic formatting, it's behind us. So let's try setting it up. Here I have sales table with some sales transactions and we will be formatting amounts today. I prepared a few examples here where you can see different formatting. The standard one provided by uh, Power BI, the default, we'll get back to that, the default one, which has thousand separator and minus sign for negative numbers in front of it and zero uh, decimal points. Then accounting one, where the instead of minus sign, we have brackets and all of the numbers formatted with two decimal points. Leading zeros, I'm not sure it's useful, could be useful for someone, but it's an option that can be implemented if you need it. Here we have zero or here we have 10. And as you can see, we have leading zero and absence of any formatting, basically. For example, zero isn't displayed here. And we have or lacking decimal points at all or thousand separator. Let's see how to set it up. So the waste dynamic formatting, it's set up on a field or measure level. And what I often see is that each and every measure or field has its own formatting specified within that measure. You're probably thinking, well, what's the problem here? And it's no problem if you have really small report, but some reports when you have to start, when you start having tens and hundreds of measures, it becomes really hard to support it. If you have multiple formatting options, again, you have to copy paste multiple options and keep in mind multiple options there is. Anyways, to ease the support, what I like to do is actually bring it over to model level in one table and then retrieve appropriate formatting from the table. Instead of storing on, on a measure level, I like to store it on a model level. Let's see how it works. So what I have here is dynamic formatting table where I have multiple types specified. Accounting formatting type, default one in case the other one isn't found, it will revert to default one. Leading zero, which I showed you, example in the table, and no formatting or really simple formatting. As you can see, all of the options centralized here. If accounting at some point will ask me to change it to something else, all I have to do is change it here in one place and all of the measures or fields that rely on that dynamic formatting will change accordingly instead of going through each and every one and probably you will forget some and change it in there. That's how it's useful. That's why it's useful to have it here and storing it here. 
Now, if for example, at some point um, we decided that no, we do no longer need accounting option, you can just delete it from here, from this table, and all of your fields or measures that relied on it will just start or revert back to default option. And you don't have to do anything else. Sounds good, right? So let's see how it's set up. And we don't have to go through each and every option. Rather, when you want to switch to dynamic formatting, what you have to do is to go to measure tools, find your format, and here from switch to dynamic option from decimal currency or whole number or whatever you have there. And on the left, you will see new option appears, measure and format. Switch to format, although it should switch you automatically. And here, what I'm doing is I'm doing lookup value. From my format table, or this is the result, this is what lookup function will give me as a result, is a format field from dynamic formatting table. Second, here is the field that we are looking through or looking in, is the type field. And here I am specifying that this measure I want to format as an accounting one. And if this value isn't found, revert to default. It's as simple as that. And as you can see, it formats it as accounting. Now let's see how the formatting itself works. What you have here is a string that tells Power BI how to format the number. Or actually, you have three for three cases. For positive numbers, for negative numbers, and for zeros. And what you see here is the first string is responsible for positive numbers. The hash symbol is telling Power BI that there will be a number, an optional number. Then you have thousand separator, if you want it to have it. And then you have decimal separator. And again, you can specify how many decimals do you want. The second string is responsible for negative numbers. Here, as you can see, I have brackets for negative number. You can have minus symbol or you can have anything else. And the last one is responsible for zeros. Again, you can format it differently if you want to. If you want to. When it comes to leading zeros, as you can see, format is a bit different. What it means is if your format is less than 199, it will add third zero in front of it, leading one. Or if your number is 10 or 9, actually, if it's 9, it will add two leading zeros. And here, as you can see, it just displays the number. If you have the number, if you don't have the number, it won't display anything in case of zero, for example. And the last thing before we finish, sometimes dynamic formatting can conflict with uh, visual settings. In those cases, make sure that you go to formatting uh, options. Uh, in this case, it's specific column. Let's set up, I don't know, default. And make sure that decimal points are set to auto. In this case, it will take uh, settings from your dynamic formatting. Otherwise, as you can see, it changes according to decimal places you set here in the settings. And also make sure that display units is set to none. Again, if you use dynamic formatting and you want to format differently, do it in dynamic formatting rather than relying on this automatic functionality. And that's all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next one.